Hey everybody, my name is the Cosmonaut and welcome back to Minecraft Generations. We are back in 1.5.1 and well, this isn't quite home. You might be wondering, hey, where exactly are you? And the answer is, I've been kind of busy in the in between the last video and this one. Well, no, not good loot. Hey, that's some good loot. A bunch of TNT. Never hurts. So yeah, I have... I have a bunch of crap on me right now. Uh, I got some diamond leggings from a villager in this village. And I don't know where they went. But yeah... This is a cool little village to find, and I think I might do some exploration out here when 1.7 comes around, because uh, we could probably find a savanna or uh, a, a roofed forest. The whole reason I even came all the way out here in the first place is because in 1.5.1, Nether quartz was added to the game, and I was like, eh, you know, nobody really likes watching someone go run around and gather resources. Now, oh, there's my portal. It's there. We go. <laughs> no, nobody likes to watch someone run around and gather resources. It's kind of boring to watch, and this is coming from the guy that's edited. Uh, many of my own videos so I came all the way out here looking for nether quartz I did find some you can see that uh, I have made a few little um actually I can't see any place to point out but yeah there is there is a couple white pixels over there that's nether quartz um, <laughs> But yeah, we generated a lot of chunks back in 1.2 out that way. So I thought, eh, the safest bet is to go backwards. And I made these uh, nice, uh, r nice, um, not rail lines, um, walkways uh, going between all my portals. I started putting up railings out here. Uh, but it quickly ran out of slabs. So now that we're here, we can point out a few new additions. One, there's potatoes! I, I spent uh, a couple nights in Minecraft uh, just hunting zombies for fun. And I got some potatoes, and I got some carrots, and I was really proud of myself. And then I went into the nether and I found that other village that spawned with potatoes and carrots. I was like, oh, come on. I've been b busy mining a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But yeah, what's the plan for this episode? One might be thinking. And honestly, I have no clue. Hoppers were added. I could make a, a mob farm. I could make an uh, automatic smelter setup. Um, what else could I do? There are a few little trails that I've made through the base to make navigation a little easier. I put a bed down here so I don't have to go all the way upstairs. I planted all these trees here. Uh, you know, I don't really have a reason for doing so. I just want to plant my jungle trees. And down here I have my mushroom farm and it actually works. Uh, you plant a mushroom there, you grow it with bone meal and it'll fill up the space. I captured a bunch of different colored sheep. Well I captured a bunch of, a bunch of the red sheep from over there and dyed them a bunch of different colors. That's how I got so much colored wool. I figured Last time I made that and I was going crazy trying to find wool, so yeah, might as well just grab a b bunch of sheep and dye them a bunch of different colors. 
<laughs> also use a bunch of the mushrooms that I got from my little farm there and dotted them around here so it so it connects back to the little mushroom that we made. I'm happy with that. And here, well, we weren't using the cave for anything, so I just decided to make it into a nice little little painting room. Okay, for the longest time, I misread this whole painting. I thought for the longest time that there's this lady, there's this person here, they were sitting there and they were holding a person with a pig face, like in a dress, that was like lying across the lap and they were sitting there with like white hair. That was that was how I interpreted this painting for the longest time. And then uh, somebody told me that, no, that's, that's not what this painting is. See, this person here, they're sitting here cross-legged with their, with their uh, dress flowing off to the side. And they're holding a painting of a pig face. Uh, when they told me that, I was like, oh, I, I was just, I was just stupid. <laughs> so I think what we should do is make an automatic smelter. And we can put it right here. And to do so, we're going to need hoppers. I'm also going to want to use comparators. So let's grab ourselves our iron. Let's grab... Uh, what do I have lots of? I have lots of jungle. Okay, let's grab our redstone. We got a bunch of... We got a bunch of torches and blocks. Uh, we're going to want... We're going to want the nether quartz so that we can make comparators. Let's grab ourselves a pickaxe and let's get going. What I really want is I want a chest over here for like an input and a chest over here for outputs. You know, I didn't really plan for this, so I'm going to do some ad hoc redstone. Okay, so we need to put stuff into uh, a furnace from the top so that it can be smelted. So, okay, we're, we're, we're doing some kind of dumb redstone here. <laughs> okay, cool, that's... That's that's dumb enough to work. There's something I'm missing here. Okay, here's here's um, a revised plan. We're gonna move all this stuff up. Outputs of the furnace go into here and plug straight into there. How do we make a loop that we can turn on and off? So. The, what the comparator does is it takes a value from there and gives it out there. It also can compare things from the side here. What the hell? <laughs> I, I don't I don't understand. I... Why, why are rails so, so, so difficult? It is not fine. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. We, we did it. We made a needlessly complex machine that will take all of our stuff and put it into a bunch of furnaces. <laughs> you kidding me? I'm gonna just just break everything real quick. Uh, 
<laughs> Everything's fine. Um, we're really starting. We're really burning through all of our stuff. <laughs> the, the Hopper Minecart d d does not distribute everything evenly. <laughs> no, 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 no. And now everything should work out just fine. No, no. <laughs> I'm trying to make something real cool here. I can't... I can't fathom how this works. Why does it like this direction more than that direction? I... <laughs> Just... It's not, not a perfect system. <laughs> I wanted to build something new, um, I, I definitely did that. This may or may not be here <laughs> the next time we do, we do a stream. That was that was miserable. An hour and twenty one minutes and we make a semi functional smeltery. <laughs> that was that was miserable. <laughs> It's not even working 100%. It's... It's leaking stuff from this chest into the... The fuel, so I... I don't really know what's going on on the wall. <laughs> Everything behind that wall is... Just complete madness. I think I'll fix this on my own time. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have to de-stress after that horrible, horrible, <laughs> horrible contraption that we made today. Oh, man. I actually feel like tension in my head because I'm trying to wrap my brain around that. Anyways, my name has been the Cosmonaut, and thanks for, for watching.